Um, to the support of other women, uh, not just my career, my whole life, like how I can get out of bed in the morning. My, my best friends are mostly female comics. I'm still friends with all my friends from high school. My sister, I am lucky to be around a really strong, supportive group of women. So yes, they've encouraged me in work and every woman that I walk past on the Upper West Side from 13 years old to 73 saying, keep going, Amy. Um, yeah, I feel very supported by women. So I would attribute my whole life to that. Um, Amy, I, I was there when you happened to fall at Kim and Kanye's I piece. remember seeing you. Why are you allowed to talk? Aren't you just a photographer? No, I was just nearby. I'm oh, okay. A, I'm a writer. Are you the post uh, guy? So I'm Jeff Sloan. I'm from Allure, sorry. I oh my God, I myself. love Allure. Thank you. Um, so posing on the red carpet, do you have a, what goes through your head? Was that an unusual moment? Oh. And, you know, what do you do? I usually dissociate, which is only available to you if you had a poor childhood. Um, so I disassociate. And, um, but what I attribute that moment to was seeing these, these two people who are, you know, media moguls in their prime, in their moment, and uh, wanting to do something to remind everyone that we're all human and that no one is more special than anyone else. Question in the front row on your right. Hello. Hi. Um, what was going through your mind? Are when you, you from? Won? Oh, I'm from People. Oh, to die for. <laughs> um, what was going through your mind when you won, and how will you be celebrating tonight? I think you know how I'll be celebrating tonight. And uh, when I won, I just thought I can't wait to hug my sister, which is exactly the first thing I did. And then I just, I haven't, you know, I was sitting in a separate spot from the writers because I'm newly famous, so. It was so exciting to see them all on stage and just be like, oh my God, we're all such a group of dirtbags. Um, it's really fun that we're here and just like being so proud of everybody. Question yeah. on your left? And I, I'm gonna black out. <laughs> Question um, on your aside left. Aside from winning, what's been your favorite moment of the night? Um, where are you? Oh, hey, what's up? Where are you from? Yahoo. Oh, shit. Oh, you're next to Mike Glossio. That's so tight. Um, <laughs> Uh, what was my favorite moment tonight? Other than, oh, um, presenting with Amy Poehler. She's the best. And like that I could like stand there and talk shit with her and Tina for a minute at a commercial break. It's like, um, that's like, oh, my life's a dream right now. Yeah. And, oh, I'm sorry, in this moment. This is obviously like very cool and like, <sighs> yeah. Question on your right, standing up. Go ahead. Oh, hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So I'm from After Ellen, and I was wondering if you oh. had any plans to make out with <laughs> Tina Fey or someone else tonight. Uh, honestly, anyone who's willing. Um, I brought my own lube. Um, I don't know if that's something that interests everyone, uh, but uh, yeah, literally anyone. Okay, great. Yes, thank you. Have one question on your right. Go ahead. Hey, Amy, congratulations. Thank you. We're the official lesbian crew. Oh, tight. Yeah. from LGBT Hollywood <laughs> and Frontiers Media. And of course we saw you on Ellen. Um, we were holding our breath. What was it like when you were roller skating past Hillary Clinton? <laughs> um, it was very hot out and uh, I was dressed like a plus size Elsa from Frozen. So <laughs> I was like, you know, and I'm such a Hillary fan. It was amazing to be that close to someone who I'm hoping is our future president. And also humiliating because I was wearing giant red roller skates, fearing I would lose my life at a Rockefeller Center. You rocked so, it. Thank you. Hi, I'm hoping this is about Madonna. I can totally ask you about Madonna. OK, well, I'll just segue it into Madonna. Please yeah, ask whatever you want. Um, I also wanted to know, it's also such a big year for sketch comedy in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they need more help than anybody. Uh, what do you think about that? And let's see you segue that into Madonna. OK. Um, well, we were very grateful that they, they gave uh, Sketch its own category, because as someone who's a huge Last Week Tonight and Colbert and Stewart fan, you know, all the late shows, it was we, we sort of didn't feel like we should be competing with them, uh, and still don't for the other categories. But uh, we're just really focusing on our win. And uh, we, uh, and it's exciting. I love sketch. Um, I think of what we do as writing scenes, which everyone silently laughs about it behind my back. But like, I don't know how to write sketch. I've never taken a sketch writing class or anything. But uh, I think the person who'd be most interested in this answer is probably Madonna, who um, <laughs> I just opened for three nights 
at um, Madison Square Garden in Barclays, and that was the shit. That was the shit. Has anyone in the front two rows ever had an orgasm, specifically here? You know this is not a control room and there is not a rocket ship, depending on you, right? Oh, my publicist <laughs> is thinking maybe I should go. Thank you, Thank you for your Thanks time. So